Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Who gonna break? Check it, check it, check it. This is Unique Hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, outstanding official, Mr. Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. You know, my dad walk on. Man, we here today, man. This guy's a gem, man. This is my guy. Hey, man, I'm in ATL again. You already know what time it is, man. There is the sun in the building. Yes, sir. Ski, right here in the flag. Man, what's going on, man? Man, I'm chilling, man. Blessed, man. Better than I ever been. Man, hey, man. You looking good, too. Thank Thank you, man. Boy, that's that's what it, you know. Some of these niggas, when you come back, nigga, they don't look the same. <laughs> yeah, it, it get like that sometimes. Y'all came back on the right man. time. Y'all came back at the right time. That's good. That's good. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Man, last time we came down, man, just in Georgia, man. I appreciate you for always picking up that phone when we call, man. Oh, yeah, for sure. Always showing us love, bro. Yeah, man. Man, I appreciate you for always picking up that phone when we call, man. Oh, yeah, for sure. Always showing us love, bro. I mean, we came in this game, man. I ain't know we were going to be doing all this this long. Mm-mm. I came in for COVID. I was like, nigga, I'm going to get some people to come on my my podcast sell a few shirts in the store, nigga, and we just it's up. Next thing you know, they hold them blew up on me. Yeah, blew up. Uh-oh. Everybody like, nigga, I'm getting calls from all over the U.S., nigga, and other countries, nigga. Bless. <laughs> I'm trying to go with you when you go overseas, you know. I you ain't know never been. Over there. I ain't never been. We going nowhere. to Jamaica what? to do this? Nah, I ain't never been nowhere. You I just, gotta go I, with us. I just literally just for the first time in my life put in on um on the form for my passport. passport. Yeah. Where is the first place you want to go? Jamaica. The first, whoever booked me first. We really? <laughs> the we first show they booked me. We yeah, need to we get you to Jamaica, man. I'm with that too. <laughs> yeah. You gonna yeah. go over there? You gonna go get that overseas money? Well. Mm-hmm. You should just take the family and go be the first trip. So oh, you don't yeah. have to do. You don't have to worry about. You know, you gotta be here for one day and then leave. You can just go somewhere for the whole week. See, you know me. I'm I'm kind of like um, I don't know the word. But it's what I'm finna say. But me, I'm a, we gonna turn all this into one thing. You feel me? That's him. Look, that's yeah, him. you feel me? I, I got a show him. in Switzerland. Y'all need to come on, get ready, get that's them kids passport together. We gonna stay for two days, okay? <laughs> I be trying to make a count, nigga. Yeah, He's all like, right, this we, is a write off. Yeah, you yeah, feel me? We yeah. ain't coming back again. Nah, we finna party, yeah, y'all. we finna get it. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Man, so you, man, you a you a whole different species, man. When it come down to what you do, man, it's a lot of cats that want to work with you. They've been coming through the show, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, shout out, I think, who's that the other day that was on the show that want to holler at him? It was uh, Bumpy, See, Bumpy Johnson. Bumpy Johnson. Bumpy Johnson. Okay. You heard of him? He I out of Dallas. Him on, yeah, I seen him on your show. On your yeah, show. yeah. On, um, yeah, yeah. He, he basically want to holler at you, man. He told me, he was like, man, that boy good too. Sound good. Oh, and yeah. he, that pain style is there. He Appreciate said, man, it. I want to hear, I want to hear, Dur- I want to get with Dur- He from the South, man. Yeah, let's get it. <laughs> Let's, hey, let's put you it remember together. what I'm saying that? Mm-hmm. Man that's let's crazy He's like man I gotta get with him man And you know just and T-Rail a, talk really good about you T-Rail too. talk oh, yeah, good about dog. you That's oh, my he, brother forever The nigga crazy Cause he say Man E man I seen that nigga Murray man I walked up to him and said, Man why you running from hey, me I seen yeah. that too <laughs> Hey I seen that too And I was like Man this boy <laughs> hell, man. He say, That but, was so funny I but, said, nah, but I love that about him though He, he, gonna, he pulling up He pushing up He gonna talk to you uh, You know to get it like he he real genuine like he love you hey bro. what's up bro let's worry like fuck that we can stop now let's go right. to the studio now like <laughs> he on it like but I love that because but when I posted that clip mm. in my mind I'm thinking I hope people really get what he really mean behind all of this is the right. fact that Slow. don't stop I mean like don't let people with the popularity don't let the stardom you know, deter you from walking right. up to somebody and saying, right. hey, I want to work with you. Come mm-hmm. on, let's do this now. Don't get caught up in all this hype and all this other stuff. It's all about right. working, making that bread, doing what you need to do. Yeah, so, always. I just hope that they see the true meaning behind what he was trying to say. Some yeah. people, you know, some people going to think however they think, even if you break it all the yeah. way down for them. They yeah. still going to see it whole how they want to mm-hmm. see it. Like, he didn't, like I said, to me, it was like genuine and he was just basically saying, yeah. man, he want to work with everybody. Mm-hmm. Y'all see him out here, he pushing mm-hmm. on up And he on don't him. give up. No, he ain't going to give yeah, up. he going to keep going. He mm-hmm. said, though, when he was in there with the Riz, he said, that nigga there ain't bagging down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, nigga, that nigga, you got to yeah, go I'm with different. it. Yeah, I'm different. I'm different. Yeah. <laughs> but he stupid. said he helped you and you helped him because yeah. he said he helped you with the hooks. I'm like, yeah, because, you know, yeah. I, 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 I get it to him. He can sing, sing. Like, <laughs> I'm doing my thing, holding the note, but he can sing, sing. Like, so, yeah, we in there, and he'll come in there. Like, I got some exclusive, you know what I mean? I got some stuff. We got we working on, the, you know what I mean, the yeah, tape, the yeah. whole part, you know what I mean? That'd be dope. So, yeah, he was doing that, and then, you know, I come in with the verses. He like... 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, what the net one is? Like, I, I never forget. I think me, him, and like a couple of producers, we was in the studio. We, we booked the whole studio. Like, so we could work in this room, this room, and this room. He was in there doing hooks. I was over here doing verses. We was rotating. Niggas making beats. When he get done with a hook, I come in and do a verse. We probably did like eight songs that day. Like, working. Working. Wow. Man. Yeah, real talk. Is, is it hard but, to And fight? guess what? It was in like two, three hours, though. It wasn't even like a whole day. It was like a couple of hours. We had like eight songs. But not everybody can do that. It That's what chemistry. I was about to say. Right, right. Everybody you can do that. You have to have that chemistry to be able to You got to have the chemistry. You got to have the want. You got to have the ambition to drive. Mm -hmm. You know, the real talent. Like, you know what right. I'm saying? Anybody can rap, but you got to be able to make music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. No, no, you one of those guys, man, that you done seen it, though. You done <laughs> been in there. You done been through a lot, bro. Like, you, yeah. you, you, I seen you come through a lot of different phases. Mm -hmm. I, you, you one of those guys, man. Even the fact of, even Rollo, the one that you, you, you know, was on the label. He locked mm -hmm. up now. Have free even, my dog. Free have Rollo. Have you even Rollo? Rollo. Yeah. How's that? Yeah. How's he doing? Oh man, he doing good. Good spirit, still working. You know what I'm saying? He he in there. He recording in there. He in there trying man, to get to he, it. Yeah, he finna drop. He got something <laughs> going on. Yeah, I love. He got it. the music. Yeah, for real, he working. But say he finna drop for nigga. sure. And I'm on there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love it, man. That's dope, <laughs> bro. Yeah. Like that's a real one. Like when you stay down like that, you know, most niggas forget about you, bro. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you understand. How hard it is for a nigga when he been gone two, three years. When my nigga was gone two years, you remember when my partner was gone, I didn't even help him for the first year. Because yeah. I say, when these niggas fall off, he got a five. I got to roll with him the rest of the way. Mm -hmm. And that's what I did. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? I knew niggas was going to help him up front. But I knew I wanted to man. hold him all the way down. Sometimes and then, they ain't helping no front, man. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, like, this was the immediate family. Oh, okay. I seen it. I yeah. know him like a book. I'm like, when I come through, it's going to be that push that's going to, mm -hmm. you know, make a difference. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know folks get in there, ain't no help from the gate. I know folks, I don't help while they was in there, get out, ain't hollered at me ain't yet. ain't say like, hi, nothing. nothing. I ain't mm. seen them, heard them, nothing. Really? That's some. But it makes you stronger, though. I mean, I'm. You it know, makes who stronger? It makes you. I mean, oh, it makes you <laughs> yeah, cause I'm trying to figure out too. Like, I'm gonna be strong regardless. I, I ain't tripping. Yeah, I ain't tripping, but I'm glad it only took that to get you from around. Exactly, like, I'm cool with. That's you, all. You could have hit, so <laughs> hit me for more. So could have. You could have hit me for more. You could have hit. Man, what? And you could have came home had. like, hey, man, I need a ten or twenty or something. I probably would have been like, fuck, I gotta, I gotta do it. Do it. This my boy. Don't call me, please. If you gonna run off, <laughs> run off. <laughs> <laughs> Man, so the no. What I wanted to ask you, because I know a lot of time um, with mental health, you always mm -hmm. talk about that. Yeah, and I see you post sometimes. You know, y'all show me some love. Y'all check in. Yeah, I see you do that. How important it is for to have your fans, to have your family, friends, or whoever is actually giving you that love on mm -hmm. social media. How important is that for you? Um, <clears throat> it, it it's important, right? I'm gonna answer the question right straight up. It's important on social media. Being that the world is 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 kind of like social media first, like right. real life kind of second for a lot of people. Not me, but a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So it's good to know that you know you can show and display that you having a real support system. You really got folk that believe in you. You know what I'm saying? You really got fans that's right there behind you every step of the way. A real following, a real fan base. You know what I'm saying? So it's important to get the love, but. In real life, is more important. Like it's, it's, it's to feel that love from a, a, a brother calling just to check on you, or right. you know what I'm saying? Because mentally, <clears throat> artists, we go through so much, but we can't display it all the time. So sometimes we do have a breaking point. Well, we may display the wrong shit at the wrong time, mm -hmm. and then again, it runs straight to social media, and yeah. then they try to put this on it and that on it, and. So, yeah, it's important in social media, but also more important in real life so you don't have those breaking points. You know yeah, because one thing I, I was always saying that I'm I'm happy that you're very transparent with that is concerned because the first time I saw it, it made me wonder. I, I hit him up and I'm like, hey, check on the res because I didn't like that post. It, you'd yeah. be like, you know, I'm going through something or I'm mentally about to break or mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. And you put it out there and mm -hmm. I'm like, dang, is he okay? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes, a lot of times, I'm gonna let y'all know, a lot of times, that's promo. Oh, okay. I'm getting, I'm getting y'all attention. Like, mm -hmm. the song I'm finna drop that's like that right now is mm -hmm. called Save Me. 
Okay. That's why I'm, you know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> Mitch okay. is about to break, save me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It's just getting ready for the new drop. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But you got to be careful because to me, when you do that and you, you know, it's promo. That's cool, but then for people who genuinely care about you, it makes us worry. Oh, no. Nah. Yeah, that's a fact, but that's cool. We activating everybody else. Yeah, show me the love. <laughs> Don't call me just because you seen the post. Call me. Yeah, right. I'm good, but I like it. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, we good. We yeah. always going to be good. That's good. I, I yeah. can tell you right now, man, like I said, you one of those guys, man. You have me going, man. Like I said, when I hear the music coming, I already know it's going to be smashed and it's going to be something that I can sit back and vibe to. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, be, was it B-Nods? Uh, B-Dods. Yeah, yeah. All the way up to Dirty Mirrors now. What mm. has changed with the Riz Deshaun? Everything. Know? Talk Every to me about thing that. Changed. How this transition happened, and let's just ride down through that. Cause that that early on, the res was mm -hmm. that was a different beast than the yeah. one we deal with today. It you know what I'm very saying? Different. So tell me very. what's the difference? <laughs> I'm talking about very, very, yeah. Back then, that was a hunger beast. You know what I'm saying? A a a a a, a beast on drugs. Um, real dependent on drugs. Like for real, I couldn't record without. Taking some type of thing to, to have me going, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was into it. I was working. The, the work ethic was different. Um, I was surrounded by a lot of different energies, different people. Um, How did you stop taking drugs? Honestly, man, my girl. Like I ain't even gonna lie. Oh like, yeah. Like honestly, my girl and my kids. Like I had done relapsed and got back on a particular drug, and she was like. You gonna be on that. You gonna lose. Look, we out. We ain't dealing with no jazz shit like that. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, damn. So you tell me the love that you had for your family and my kids, more yeah. and your kids. Because the reason why I ask you that because there's so many celebrities out here who whether pass away from you know drug overdose or you know I, I could call so many names, and um, they have family. Mm -hmm. They have whether wife, kids, all of that, and. It's like the drugs beat them, so I'm like trying to figure out how hard is it because it's hard, it's real hard. But you know, I mean, you care about what you care about. You know, um, me, my family is the most important thing to me over anything. Like, I don't care about you know nothing more than I care about my family, not my career, not my uh, bank, not you That's know my money, none of that. Like, my family is the most important thing. We could live on the bridge as long as I got my family. I'm straight. How long were you on drugs before you actually stopped? <sighs> How many years? Um, I always been on some type of pill, like an upper. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Molly, Adderall, something. Like the whole time, like my whole career. And the reason why I ask you that, because, you know, you have some people who be watching it and be like, oh, yeah, he could get off because he wasn't on it very long. So, you know, I'm just trying. I've been on drugs since I ever started rapping. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. You feel me? Like, mm -hmm. and, and I ain't saying it in a way like that, but I'm going to just say that I was doing it before it was cool. Like, I used to go to the studio with niggas and be like, hey, y'all want one of you? They're like, what the hell is that? Mm. <laughs> you feel me? Mm -hmm. And I ain't thinking. I'm thinking like, oh, shit, it just did what I did. Yeah, I get out. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. But now it's, it's popular, so everybody's doing mm -hmm. it. But yeah, I was doing it when it, wasn't, when it was like, nigga, what are you in there doing? Wow. And looking back on it, um, because you're still doing music, you're mm -hmm. still performing, do you see where, because, okay, in my mind, I always feel like it's a pressure being an artist. Mm -hmm. So that's why a lot of them end up taking drugs because that's you go through you go through a whole bunch of stuff personally in your life, whether baby mama drama, girlfriend drama, whatever, family drama. You have to support all these people. You have to do all of these things. You plus, you got to come on stage with a happy personality, mm -hmm. give the, the performance of a lifetime, which you don't, you don't feel it. Right. So a lot of people, I feel like celebrities turn to drugs just to get that buzz right. feeling. Just to keep to, going. To keep going because uh -huh. you're tired. Because you're a human being. You get tired. You don't want to go to the studio. You don't want to. But you have to. Got to. So now that you're not on any of this stuff, how hard is it to do all of these things without I, that? It's hard. I ain't even going to lie. It's hard because um, even sometimes, like, handling my business, you know, I may go through a situation, you know, with my daughter or something. She done did something at school. I come here, like, for example, I can come right here. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to do an interview. You'll see it. Like, it's on me. Like, and I'm working on that, though, because that, that ain't how I need to be. Mm -hmm. But me knowing that, I done started taking, like, natural things. Like, mm -hmm. like right now, I'm on alpha brain focus. Like, so 
I'm Does feeling like I'm work? on Adderall. You know what I'm saying? Does it work? <laughs> Does it work? <laughs> yeah. It, it ain't, of course, it ain't going to be as intense as the right. real thing. Right. But it feel like, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a pacifier. Mm -hmm. Pretty pacifier. much. Yeah, yeah, that pretty yeah. much it just helps you. You know, yeah. that's the thing about it, man, though. You you one of those guys, man, that you've been through so much. Mm -hmm. Most people, man, some people crash out before they even could even deal with right. something like this, bro. Like, your career has you been. You got to have somebody you to be there and believe in you, bro. And my kid, like, all I, like, like my friends at the time, they didn't give a damn. Mm. Like nobody gave a damn. Hell, they that shit. That what he do? Fuck it. He finna make a hit though. You know what yeah, I mean? Fuck. Nobody <laughs> cared about the shit. So like, but that's a lot of people because I've heard people say stuff like that. Like for big celebrities, like I don't care what you got to do. You just got to push this out. Facts. I mean, you know, I ain't a nigga can't. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I'm just speaking on situations that I don't right. seen yeah. firsthand. I don't seen. Motherfuckers off it up Like hey man What you need bro You need to crank your shit up What's up Yeah Yeah They just trying to get a hit Yeah They don't care about you They yeah, all, all like that. that They want yeah. that hit Your money yeah. making Machine Right yeah. That's all you is A money making machine We need you to work You sleep Wake up But you know already that As you go through these phases In mm -hmm. life man You know the most important thing Is your health the most you important you thing is your family. You working because most you, important thing is your kids. The most important thing, and you can't is, see it, but you you can't see it, and, and because we get this shit put in our mind like this, right? You can't do shit for nobody until you start doing for you, right? That's right. All right, but then this music, you can't do shit until you make a hit, right? You feel and me? Continually make right. a hit, continuously, right? Yeah. That's what they say, mm -hmm. right? So then you got kids that you got now miss time with because you're always gone. You're always working That's on right. that hit. You're always working on the video. Exactly. You're always working on trying to be in the radio or somebody's face. Or all, like you're always trying to figure out how to catch that wave mm -hmm. so you can catch that check, so you can catch them shows, so you can keep that money coming, right? And that's what I was going to say. The biggest difference from, from the old beast to the new beast is I'm going to do what I want to do. Like, okay. I'm going to do what I do to make me happy. If I don't feel good, I'm not doing it. Mm -hmm. If I don't want to go here, I'm not going there. Mm -hmm. And I don't care what nobody say. You know what I'm saying? I like that. If I want to be at my kid's birthday party for three days, nigga, I'm going to do that because yeah. I missed a hundred birthdays already. Right. That's real. You know what I mean? And I know, like, you know, my son be missing me. My daughter's like, come on, bro. Fuck yeah. that. Ain't nothing more pressure. No, I like, like that, man. I yeah. like that because that just show growth, man. Mm -hmm. It show growth and it show, you know, knowledge now. Like, knowledge, yeah. Like, yeah. I, I can go out here and do a show, pass <laughs> out, and, and 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 not come home. What you talking about? That's but the I, truth. But I've been, and my kids ain't got nothing to tell you when they say, right. who was your daddy? Oh, the Durell Deshaun? Mm -hmm. No. Nah. Yeah. I'm yeah, gonna be daddy. My daddy was fun. My daddy loved us. Mm -hmm. My daddy took us here. We did. We did that. Like that's you know what I'm real. saying. That's real. So if you meet a young, talented, um, upcoming artist right mm -hmm. now, who when you look at them, because I know y'all be bumping into each other sometimes at mm -hmm. the studios and stuff like that, and you can see them going down the same path or have the same misillusion to think that you have to do these things to be successful. Mm -hmm. How would you advise that person? That's a good question. Um, honestly, when you young, um, and, and you new and you fresh, it's like it's kind of like you gotta okay. go hard, but be smart at what you're doing, know what you're going hard for. Um, I would advise them to don't take sleep for granted because a lot of the times artists go through a lot of the health that they go, I mean, health issues that they go through because of the lack of sleep. Mm. Wow. Um, and this is something I'm knowing by you know. Going to doctor, you know, and they like, hey man, you need to sleep, like, yeah, so you, 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 this and this, this and that, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, no, and, and sleep it. really can fuck with your mental health. Yeah, yeah. no lie, sleep, yeah. mm -hmm. not sleeping for days and days consistently, that do something to your mental health, like, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So I would advise them, don't play with your sleep, even if proper you, sleep. Yeah, proper. But <laughs> I mean, it's gonna be hard to get proper. But you know, when when you catch an hour, doze on, nigga. Don't try to stay up the whole time. Like, yeah, catch yeah. you an hour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, rap. Go home. Get you three hours. Yeah. When you ain't doing nothing after that, wait till they call you. Take your nap. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, sleep. I, I look at this op as an opportunity. Like for boss talk is just really like a lot of the young niggas we see in the comments. What people be talking about, man, that nigga how this nigga mm -hmm. that. And my thing is. 
for us just to be an example to the people that God put in our life. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Just like you, you go into that studio now, you being uh, one that's temperamental and self-control is there, they're going to see that in you, mm -hmm. and that's going to be another thing that they can draw off of. Mm -hmm. It ain't about much as what you say, it's about how you move. Yeah, how you move. You, so they looking at you, mm -hmm. and they like, damn, you know, because they ain't seeing the old you that used to do like they doing. Right. So now they like, damn, what, what make him tick? How did he beat it? I, but only by your actions. Yeah, fast. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> they ain't going to say it to yeah, you. Yeah. They like, damn, you know, like, because I'm going through it. Because mm -hmm. a lot of time when you're going, going through, through that stuff, through it. it be like, you be tired. That's why I personally, you know, I don't know about nobody else. I personally like to ask the questions that I ask because mm -hmm. I know how people are. You can walk up to somebody and give them that same advice that you're giving right here mm -hmm. and they go act like they're not listening to you. Mm -hmm. So I prefer when they can look on their YouTube and whatever and hear it mm -hmm. and take it to heart and be like, man, I'm going, right. you know, because they're not going to let you know that you help them. Right. Fair. Yeah. It, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that's just how life <laughs> yeah, is. Yeah. You're right. But if you can help somebody, <laughs> Yeah, I blessing. hope I help them. Y'all ain't got to tell me y'all listen to me. But if you listen to it and you take heed, you'll be all right. Man, <laughs> let's, 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 you being, being independent now, mm -hmm. would you ever go back into a label deal? Uh, yeah, because um, it's different. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. mm -hmm. it's different platforms. You know what I mean? Like, uh, that being independent, you, I just can't get into. Like, and I mean that in the sense of, this industry is just like a whole bunch of politics, knowing somebody. And you know, these these labels be having relationships with different mm -hmm. situations. So it's like, I would definitely do it if it was right, like if it was presented right, and if it worked in my favor for what I'm trying to do. But I would never go into a, a, a major deal to be the the sacrificial lamb again, like that. I got to put all this work in. I ain't going home to my kids no more. Mm -hmm. I got to stay here and stay like no. Explain that to me though. Like, how did you feel like that closed in on you like that? Like for example, right? Like I don't had conversations where you know, and it's real. Like I don't had conversations where I may have been late to some shit or I say no, nah, I can't do that this day because I'm like, yeah, I got to do this with my kids. kids. The motherfucker said, fuck your kids. No. What? That's what I said. But a young me, stupid, I said something, like on some check and shit, but then I thought like, damn, you right. I can't let this be the, the reason why I'm not doing what I got to do to feed them. You see what I mean? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And that's how they put that in the nigga head. And that's why I say I won't go back to that shit. You, I, I never go sign a major for them to do that shit again. Hell no. But I feel like it's um, tradition in a lot of ways because men, period, whether in this industry or not, feel like it's their role to feed their family at all costs, it no is. matter what. As long as they have their wife or girlfriend or baby mama, whoever, at home, mm -hmm. they know their kids are safe. They know their kids are being nurtured. Mm -hmm. They they feel a sort of um, relief to know that right they're being taken care of. I felt that too, but then again, you gotta just think, right? What woman really want to just be that in life? Like right. women want to, they got dreams too. Like they ain't just trying to sit at the house. Like mm -hmm. so, it's like it's hard. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? That shit get hard. Like when you, especially like for me, right? My fiance, I got a fiance now. She Congratulations. Do yeah, thank you, thank you. Party women, hey, yo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, nigga, we got you. Nigga, we got you, nigga. Bring him on in, nigga. Yeah, yeah congratulations, nigga. We got that, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> that got you. Yeah, she damn sure got you. Yeah. That's who it be. Uh -huh. Hey, I knew it. I had a, my other big homie, my cousin. I remember when he first got married. Now he ain't with her no more. But boy, when he first got married, mm -hmm. I'm going to say to let y'all get back to it. He was like, I like damn nigga. You know how you try to hurt a nigga feeling? Oh nigga, you you in love, nigga. Mm -hmm. I thought a nigga was gonna say, nah, nah, ain't that mm -hmm. nigga's nigga say so, so, nigga. Don't play, nigga. Don't play. <laughs> love a beautiful thing, man. When it's Already. done, when it's real love. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like I was saying, you know, like she got her own thing popping off. Like so, it's like, um, I mean, yeah, I ain't going back to that. That's, That's all I'm saying. Already. My good. whole household trying to be somebody. My kids trying to, I got a daughter want to sing. I got Come a daughter on, want, good. like, you know what I mean? We all trying to get in there. My son want to produce and do what he doing. Like, yeah, I ain't, I never go back to being that, the, the rookie. Like, Damn right. so, you know what I'm saying? But you're going to use what? all of the things that you learned from this um, field mm -hmm. to help 
your children. For sure. You understand? Show them what not to do, what to do. And I guarantee you, these kids are so smart, they're going to mm. teach you some. They already do. I don't know how to tit talk. <laughs> do you think talk me? Yeah, they do that. I just be like, hey, look, uh, the promo sheet, so I need to do this. Help me uh, figure this out. They do that. I don't. That's cool. Yeah, fact. That's cool. That's dope, man. Mm. You know, you just, like I said, you you one of them guys, man, that to me, like I said, you 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 started a wave. You was in a wave, you know. Don't get me wrong. I, I mm. seen everybody doing the singing thing. But when that hard away came, the way that it came, mm. during that time, it was wasn't nobody rocking it like that, though. It was right, it was just that man. time. It was, it was just a the perfect time. It was a different time, time bro. Yeah. It was... I couldn't, you couldn't make that up, bro. Like, yeah. I don't even know. Nah, man. How did they feel? Like, I know you told me last time it was a hit and everybody knew it was a mm -hmm. hit. But how did, how did, I mean, it it, it opened a lot of doors for you, a bro. A lot. It, it, it spread it like a lot of doors that, that It opened a lot of doors that got closed by not me. Let's say that. Like, yeah. it opened doors that people try to manipulate and, and, and it closed on me. And that's ultimately why I chose to just remain just independent and reopen my own doors, rebuild my relationships with my own folk. I don't need nobody speaking for me, talking about, oh, he the next up. No, nah, nigga, they know. You know what I mean? No, it's like, already solidified right, at this point. Right, you, right. you did the right thing because right. really today's society is is more of an independent driven mm -hmm. way that the music streams go to me mm -hmm. anyway. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. There's some niggas out there all got a good deal, cool, but you can make it on your own. You bro. can, but... but the, the the misconception of being independent is you got to have all the tools. Though. That's that's it. You did. I was gonna ask you like the BET awards coming up, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna let you finish that because people be like, "E, you cut him off." I wanted to hear what he had right. to say about that. I know that I got it. <laughs> but the independent thing, man, uh, going like the BET awards coming up. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, like to just show up there. You know. Uh, you know the the vibe. You have to have a budget for this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you like, I'm gonna show up. And if you did, and you decided to make a run on something independently, yeah, these are the things that you start factoring you in have for a yourself. Budget. You have to have a connect. You have to have somebody that's knowing somebody that get you in. Like it ain't just a walk up. Walk up in there. I'm on me. No, I'm the red. Yeah. And that I budget I, is out of your own pocket. Yeah, hell, hell yeah. yeah, independent. Yeah. But can't you get sponsors? You can, but that's what people don't know. Like. You can definitely get private investors. You can get right. sponsors. You can get... So you can actually get money without actually having a label and without it right. coming out of your pocket. Exactly. And that's the You just have catch. to be able to present yourself properly and be able to represent that brand properly right. and right. not mess that up. Represent that brand properly. Yeah. Represent yourself properly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And know how to be in the room with these folks. You know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. But what did you learn though when you were in these rooms when you were under your deal that you can carry into this independent stage of your career? Um, what I learned was like relationships. Like honestly, like them relationships is the most important thing to any career because if you if you if you disrespect or shit on or not show up to something that one of these people doing this this and that for you doing. They can shut your shit down. These folks sit in the office for hours coming up with this marketing scheme shit and the, the rollouts to how you doing this. And if you don't re if you don't represent them well and show them the love and the support they need, like nigga, they can put you in the back. Like, mm -hmm. and I learned that. So from my personal relationships, uh, I mean, I learned that from my personal experience. Now when I go meet y'all or some y'all can call me and I'm picking up. Hey, right. what's happening? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, I push up. No pressure. Yeah. DJs, hey man, you'll do this on me? Hell yeah, I will. Hey bro, we doing a show for whatever day in such and such city. Can you come? Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. it's, I got you, you got me, we got each other. Correct. We gonna keep it going. Keep and it all rolling. the money come yeah. to you. You don't yeah, have to right. everything you doing. Else. But I've had um, people who've been on the show who say that independence it can only carry you so far but you need a label to whether the distribution or to carry you even further. Again, it depends on who, what artist you are, and it depends on what you're trying to do, right? What are you trying to do? I'm just doing what I love. Like I ain't trying to. You ain't what, trying to get. I, I, if it happened, it happened. Okay. But that's not my. That ain't my focal point. Like I ain't like, oh, I'm shooting for the stars. I want to be Drake next year. Okay. No, I'm I'm doing what I love. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing what give me peace of mind, what therapeutically help me. Um, 
I'm making good money doing it. My kids, you know, they they with it. They like, yeah, that's my daddy. You know what I'm saying? They proud of me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, whatever come with it, come with it. But I ain't that ain't like my I I, I accomplished my goal. You know what I mean? I, I became a successful person. You know that ain't normal from where I'm from. So I ain't tripping on the other shit. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm good. I'm grateful. Yeah, that, that that you know that's the the one thing about it. You can't. The Bible say no man look going forward. You know what I'm saying? Grabbing a plow and going forward. Look black. Look back without running into it's something. Mm -hmm. You got to be careful on looking back. Once mm -hmm. you've already treaded through those different places, mm -hmm. you already accomplished that. Right. So now it's time to move on to the next stage. We in a phase now where. It's back at it again. You know how nigga get his second win? Yeah. <laughs> you know <laughs> what's going like, on. Nigga, we finna come back at you. And this a whole, brother, listen to me. I'm a whole <laughs> another one. I'm talking about the new music I'm finna drop, the new things I got going on, this new energy that I done bumped into. Yeah. I don't need like, yeah. yeah like, but I need from? that. <laughs> I, don't, I just prayed, man. God like, gave it to you. Yeah, I've game. been praying just for a peace of mind. Like, when is the project coming? Almost yeah, said nigga. <laughs> yeah, nigga. <laughs> I almost said this that day. But you know, you know I don't like saying dates yeah. only because anything might happen. Yeah, yeah. but soon. What this money is? So tell me. So what month? I gotta turn the album in like a week. So okay. you know how that game goes. Yeah. Give me three weeks. October something. We gotta get you to you got you yeah. coming to Texas. And this I gonna know. be your best album ever. I, you know what? I was just talking to somebody the other day. Um, yesterday, actually, I was at uh, shout out to Lil Donald. We was at Lil Donald video shoot. Me and him, London J, and I was in the back talking to my buddy Goldmouth, and we was discussing like my old like Pain One is so mm -hmm. legendary. Like, yeah, yeah. Will I ever top that? Right. And I'm like, I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't ever look at it like topping it because it's like this is Pain One. That's what that is, you know. Pain two is this. This what this is. Pain three is this. This what this is. And I feel like all them shits classes and legend, really legendary. Tough. But I don't know which one can. Mm -hmm. you can't. It's, it's a whole different animal each time. These are phases, and you, 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 you feel you me? You can't even yeah. try to duplicate or either yeah. go against it because these are different phases you in. Exactly. And this one, this and the album called Bigger Than Me Too. Hey. Yeah. So this phase, you it's going already, down. Yeah, it's bigger. Than you me. gonna let us in on who gonna be on that thing, man? Man, I'm working. Any uh, features? Anything? Can I get I, anything? That nigga ain't letting the I've been trying. <laughs> I've been trying. Like you know, oh, so I you ain't been getting the features on there. Like, nah, you know, I've been getting the, the yeses and we're going to do it and let's lock it in, send it. But, you know, everybody be on their own time. But Not I'm ready it. to drop. I ain't going to lie. I ain't, you know what I mean? I'm ready to drop. Yeah. So, um, I definitely reached out to a lot. I know for sure T-Real on there. That my boy right for there. For sure. He on there. That nigga that yeah. bad boy. He might be on that motherfucker a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, man, he, hey, when he, when he talks, he say, Num numbers don't lie. I was the first one with that pain me. Bro, I was waiting for that. I was waiting for that. I was waiting for that. So, you agree? So, you agree? With what? With T Rail that he was the Hell first. Nah. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> look, they say boss talk be starting trouble. You nah, know what I'm nah, hell no. Nah. Look, <laughs> hey, cuz. <laughs> I swear, I saw it. You I say, said, what did you say? I said, I put Rod Wade face I, up there with look, him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I said, I said, I, that's how you feel. That's how you feel. That's how you pull the feel. But now numbers don't lie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We can go to 2010 if you want to. I mean, I could go to 1999 <laughs> if we want to. Oh, hey, you was already on that thing. You feel me? I just wasn't nobody at the time. Exactly. You feel me? Like, I've been doing it. I just didn't have a platform. But who was it? This is an old school rapper that they, they, they were named saying. Zero. Zero. They, they said was, Zero was They named Zero. Yeah, they well, named. See, yeah, see, and, and, and I. They named Ja Rule, too. They I named. salute them. I salute all them, right? I do. But I'm, I'm saying, you know how... Uh, I don't know how to like the proper. Go like, ahead, just say it. Yeah, like because I be trying. You know, you see how I be working on my articulation yeah, now. Like, all right, so it's like, in, in since those guys, ain't nobody else been okay. doing it. You okay, did. I got you. Mm -mm. So you have. So you're not saying you're the first. Yeah, I am not the saying, official first. Right. I'm just saying anybody doing it now, that, that me, crime me. Okay. Okay. You did what I'm Damn. saying. But, like, but, but, 
He said, 20, what, 2014? He said 1990. How, what you I said? was just playing with the mic. <laughs> no, you know that. 1990, you wasn't even playing. Yeah, you <laughs> said it. You was just saying it, though. I got songs, though, like, I mean, you could, I, but but like I said, I wasn't me. I wasn't the Red the Sun. Yeah. You can look up D Dads. You can look up Debo. You can look up all of my old names, names. and you'll see, like, oh, damn, he really been doing this. Been doing it. I've been overlooked a long time. Yeah. When I was doing that, they was like, man, don't nobody want to hear this shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's when it came that phase where Debo, uh, if y'all done been in that era mm -hmm, with me, mm -hmm. Debo was on the gangster rap. Oh, yeah. all right, y'all don't want to hear that? All right, well, let me pop this real gangster shit in. Then it got the, oh, let me do real music. Like, let me just switch it. Right. I don't have to sing about girls. I can sing mm -hmm. about my pain. Or mm -hmm. I don't have to, you, you know, I used, back then I used to try to make an album thinking I was making an album. Like, I'm going to have a hit, so this going to be the hit. This the girl song. Oh, I'm going to make a real song. I'm going to sing on this one. But now it's like, hell no. Nah, just let me do all that shit like mm -hmm. that. Put it all in one. Sing. Sing about being broke. Sing about not eating. Sing about, you know what I mean? And it worked. Like, damn. You know, I like I said, I, I, just, I just know you have had some hell of a songs man and and them transitions was mm -hmm. crazy you got you got you t rail you mm -hmm. got moray mm -hmm. rod wave you rod know wave. but rod wave different you know it ain't y'all all different yeah, that's what i was gonna say y'all all different everybody different and i love every, every one that you name, Just name i love all this what did you think when you first heard rod wave he fine because you heard him after you already been doing it yeah i said he fine First thing I said, I was, I swung everything I love. What that shit? What his tape was called? Gospel something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, street gospel or something? Some something shit. Like gospel something. Remember. So when I heard it, right, i never forget. I met my current manager, uh, Manny. I'm in his house. I'm like, damn, bro, you hear this? This nigga fine. Oh, I got to work with y'all. Like, you hear this shit? He on the mm -hmm. same time I'm on. He knowing some shit. He going through some shit. Right. And then, you know, people try to, oh, mm -hmm. he got a front. They tried to, oh, he oh, stole the style from yeah, you. You wasn't, you wasn't going for it. Yes, no, nah, hell no. Nah. The whole time, I've been saloon shot of what he doing, you know what I'm saying? Now, I don't know what the politics is or why we ain't worked yet or why ain't nobody Have you seen him? Y'all been around each other? We did a show together in Atlanta. We did. Um, y'all had words? Did you talk with him? You know how that was. I don't know the politics. Y'all all, politi all moving different. Y'all got yeah, your own crew. Yeah, yeah, my fault. Like, all right, let's get out of here. Let's yeah. do this. I don't know when he going to be here. I ain't finna stay for a whole nah, shit. Nah, 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 shit nah. You got too. stuff, too. You feel me? But, yeah, I don't know. I mean... Somebody should have connected to that. Okay. Uh, now let's talk about Murray. When you first seen him come. He hard. Like, <laughs> see, yeah, how he came, right? Like how he came, how I first heard him, I was rocking with that. But then when I heard him sing, sing, that yeah. gospel church sing, I said, oh, my God, I got to learn how to sing, bro. Yeah, like, I gotta go take some classic. You got to get this. These nigga, hey, they done uh, remit this. <laughs> <laughs> These niggas really, really sang it like, yeah. Lord, like T Rail. I said, man, damn, I gotta go really get some classic. Did you bro. take any? Not hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I just been kind of self teaching at mm -hmm. the house. Me, 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 me. <laughs> so um, I see you wearing that Jurassic Park necklace. Mm -hmm. What is that all about? Um, where I'm from on the south side, that's what they call it. Jurassic Park, Land of the Lost. Oh, okay. I just thought you just loved the movie. Oh, yeah. Nah. <laughs> hey, man. Man. I mean, about to say shout it. out to them, though, I did. I was a young nigga and I used to love Jurassic Park. I got a dinosaur on my back. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, nah. Um, yeah, that's all. Yeah, oh, okay. Was, yeah. D was it a big, big situation when you left? When, when you start moving and doing your own thing, you left cash money. Do you think that was the right thing to? you know, to do at the time? Well, me personally, I want to say shout out to everybody that I was with, everybody that's family, but I don't really talk on that subject because I don't really know how to talk on that subject. Okay, okay. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I don't I don't really, yeah. Have you seen them since? Have y'all talked? Or? Nah, I just, I ain't, I've, I've been working. Okay. Yeah, I ain't been, you know what I mean? I'm working. I ain't seeing nobody, talking to nobody. I'm working. I just like I said, you just I just know the chemistry was there. Uh, Rilo, y'all, yeah. y'all was yeah. all nigga. Y'all broke up in the Breakfast Club. I told you last time, you, said, you <laughs> niggas was on team for real, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Ride or die. You yeah, know? we were, we were. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, 
it's still like that with me. I'm just saying when we talk about that, I don't know how to talk because it was okay. other people involved that yeah. I honestly started to see where like the different paid shit started happening. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to. It's a lot of yeah. people involved when you're dealing with all of that. It's so many different moving parts to a whole mechanism when you're dealing with labels and distribution and all the different ways that they can line out the paperwork. Right. I, I Nelly said one time he felt like when he signed his deal, he lost millions of dollars. I'm being real. Mm -hmm. He could even know they were losing and he didn't know where it was going. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, being real. This dude told like, the, it could the be, story. You, you could be my manager. She could be the labor. You could tell me one thing and tell them one thing and they tell you something and then you tell me a whole nother thing because you in the middle of working your, you know what I mean? So that's what I'm saying. It's a lot of different ways it can go. And then when I talk to the label, they're like, hell no, we never said no shit like that. What? Now I'm mad at you because of shit you said and now you trying to explain, mm. no, nah, we weren't supposed to tell him that. Like, I know how to make him grind and work and do what he got to do type shit. Like, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. but let me. It's a good thing you say something like that because it reminded me of um, an interview that we had with Rainwater. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. And um, he was talking about the differences, like with the label, the manager, the artist, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. He's saying that, like, um, the artist usually be more closer because with the manager because you always doing stuff yeah. with the manager. So yeah. you always. He was talking about Megan mm -hmm. with T. Ferris and 1501 Car. Mm -hmm. And um, because how T. Ferris took. Megan to help her get that deal and mm -hmm. took her from, you know, Carl and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So, how close, how true is that? Like, all right, I'm gonna answer compared the Compared to the label. I, I, yeah, I'm gonna I'm answer the question. I'm gonna answer the question. Yeah. And then I'm gonna answer it like me. That's funny. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's important to be close to the manager and the label. Okay. Now, my personal experience is why I say that because it can be communication problems. Mm -hmm. It can be you, let's say you the label, he the manager. You could say, um, we want Derez to dye his hair rainbow and go do a show at the Pride Month or whatever, mm -hmm. which I might be with, but you not, and you say, hell no, nah, he'll never do that. Mm -hmm. I don't even know. I ain't even talked to you. Mm -hmm. I probably would have. You get it? Right. Now that causes friction. Oh damn! I don't know. If we can. We spend. The you never had to say so. I don't know what we can do with it, and I don't know nothing about it. Right? Mm -hmm. Me? No. Answer that question. You supposed to be close to the manager, but you don't let the manager feel like you work for him. Like, yeah, you don't be close to the manager where he feel like he running you like nah mm -hmm. nigga we help each other we a team you know what I mean I got something for you to manage you know not for you to take this name and think you a CEO mm -hmm. you get what I'm trying to say mm -hmm. so yeah that's how what I feel about, about it DJ Cho said that when we talked to him he said he don't do paperwork no more with no manager he said all it is is a handshake that's it he not doing no more paperwork signing nothing with you it's that's just a handshake deep. and go oh. That's he deep. say because he done been doing this a long time, like yourself, yeah. and that's all they get. No, nah, that's deep, and, and that's like a lot of trust. Like, <laughs> I, I mean, for for on the manager behalf, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because if he wake up tomorrow, I just say, fuck it, hey. It's like, fuck it, what <laughs> yeah. I'm going to do? Yeah. You know but what I I'm think, saying? I think he said that because for the main fact that, you know, when you're an artist where you feel like you don't really need a manager, because yeah. you do everything yourself right. already anyway, right. but it's good, especially because as you get bigger and bigger you don't have to have you don't have you don't somebody have the time because you. Yeah. you don't have the time to deal with all yeah. of the it's small gonna, stuff go. yeah i'm learning from me man, i ain't gonna lie I, I salute my managers i got two i salute them every day why um, you need two they two different different machines yeah. you know what i'm saying they doing two different things i mean we all on the same team trying to work toward the same goal but this one do this handle this beast on like paperwork computer shit all that mm -hmm. this one the beast with the traveling and the oh, so one is your road manager. No, nah, one, one I got two managers. Two I'm managers. just saying, this one do a whole bunch of different shit, mm -hmm. and this one do a whole bunch of different shit. But we all right here. That's you know what good. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, but wow. um, I tell them every day because since I've been independent, I've been having to wake up, check emails and shit. I'm missing shit. I'm like, oh shit. 
damn, they asked for this. I called my man. I already did it. <laughs> Man. Damn, I, I'm sorry, bro. I'm gonna get better, y'all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but that's good because it, it 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 makes it where you know what's going on. Yeah, fact. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like you checking up on them because mm -hmm. they're supposed to be checking all them emails themselves mm -hmm. and doing mm -hmm. everything. And, so and I'm do. happy. I'm happy that you're still trying to check it. Yeah, fact. And not just leave because that's what happened to a lot of artists. They just leave everything into these managers' hands mm. and to say, you know, well, forget it. I'm, I want to concentrate on being an artist, being a rapper, being a singer, and not have to worry about anything else which it should be like that like honestly man i don't think so I i'm think gonna you tell you why know. because when you when you hire somebody to be your manager it's supposed to be somebody you trust definitely you understand what i'm saying it's just like it, it, it like it with, with anything like it, a gang a, a team a a, a a business it's all the same to me like if we play if we playing sports right let's say he the wide receiver and you the linebacker and I'm the quarterback. I need you to keep the other team mm -hmm. from scoring so mm -hmm. me and Shawty can go down there and goddamn go, 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 like. But if one of us get that big head or that ego thing mm -hmm. or I worry about just me and now you playing us and now I'm playing me and now I'm in the middle like, oh, that's fuck exactly both of you. That's exactly what happens. Right, so that's why you're supposed to be able to trust your teammate to do but his thing. They're human beings just like everybody else and they get caught in certain situations where sometimes people... That's why I understand There's a Charles big thing saying that though. Yeah, fuck that, buddy. Because mm -hmm. when you fuck up, it's fuck you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's an ego thing, and there's a big thing called pride. Men have ego and pride. Fact. Where they don't always tell you what's going on in their lives. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times you think that your manager is cool, that he's he's good, mm -hmm. whether monetarily wise or, you know, because you know you're paying him, but you never know what he might be going through gambling, doing right, this, right. somebody extorting him money, and then put in a certain situation and he might have to sabotage you and you don't even know. Yeah, exactly. You see That's what why I, mean? I dig what he said. Yeah, I might have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Just put it <laughs> on you, <laughs> then. Yeah. Hey, buddy, this is how this is going to go. <laughs> hey, uh, Your two so, managers right now looking at you like, no, nah, I trust them though. We good. <laughs> I gotta ask true. you this question, man. I gotta ask you about. Uh, I know you watch the news. You ain't. You, you you know you ain't on some island where you don't see what's going <laughs> on. But we had a hell of a situation uh, in the H town where uh, it, some uh, Trey and Zero, Zero had a uh, you know somebody got punched in the stomach real mm -hmm. good on TMZ. Mm -hmm. It ain't nothing that ain't been known. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So uh, how? Cause you. You've been through some things where you had to come back and bounce back after being shot and different stuff. How hard is that for for somebody who's in the music industry that looks a certain way, but then the media projects them after they see him go through something like he just experienced, you know, far as zero go? Um, with that situation, I don't know like how it or what, you know, and I be staying out of other people's business. But me, um, It's hard, kind of, like, to come back from anything that's not what's going on right now. Like, I mean, you know, they letting certain people do certain things that ain't street, right? But then you let, when street shit happen, you try to pick mm -hmm. up, you try to put somebody, like, it's street shit, bro. Like, if I go beat up a nigga tomorrow, I beat him up. I ain't trying to hold him down. If I get my ass whooped, I got my ass whooped. But being on the res, it's going to be hard for me to... Right, and then the social media and everybody videoing in a heartbeat and yeah. seeing how they can sell the footage, how it can get out right. there. Yeah. But three, or, but, but for four or five people to, to my, you know, Melvin Farmer had some, that's uh, <laughs> Trey A. Crip. He said, uh, what are you going to do about it, you know, on the show? <laughs> You know, like I asked him, I said, you know, I told, like I just asked you the question, mm -hmm. and he was like, "What is he gonna do about it?" What? As yeah, in, yeah, he's a, just a. I mean, know, they, my, it be gangster, man. Like, shit don't like but they not really shit, right? cousins, is what I'm hearing now. They not even family. Oh, I thought it was but a family shit though. They everybody felt like they were family because of how they used to yeah, be back in the together. days, but. They've been um, having conflict a long time ago. So to me, when this happened, it's like out of the blue. Like, y'all been having conflict. As in, like, you live down there the same place. Mm -hmm. Like, why now? Why y'all probably seen each other? Why now? What happened to spark this to happen? You know what I mean? Yeah. And so openly, when everything was going on. 
Mm-hmm. And I'm going to tell you some news. Like I said, it ain't nothing, no hidden secret because it's so open and in the yeah, press. Yeah, I seen it. Yeah, hidden. everybody like, seen it. It's on TMZ, nigga. I was uh, like, damn, uh, man, Zero went shit. on TMZ. Oh, you yeah. Yeah, he, he told it. I'll talk about it on TMZ. I ain't know that. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. I don't watch TV. I yeah. mean, I, I ain't going to lie. No, I seen it on I you watch YouTube, bro. I want to watch. I watch. Yeah, I watch what I want to watch on TV. <laughs> but I seen it on Instagram, but I didn't know... I got. I thought it was fam. Me and my buddies be fine. Like, and yeah. I would hate if a nigga take a like if if I put these headphones down right now. I'm like, hey, cuz, come here, man. I just looked on Instagram. You tripping? And we hit. I would be very mad if somebody recorded Record that and put, put that out. shit out because this my fam. Like, nigga, tomorrow we good. We finna go get in the car together. Like. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, but I, that's what I thought it was. That's why I ain't yeah. never really look at really it. Look I, at it in that I way. couldn't have nothing to say because I thought it was family. Like. Yeah, a lot of um, Houston be like, well, that's family business, so we stay yeah. out of it. Mm-hmm. But when you think about it, it's like, as again, you say you and your cuz. You and your cuz got into it a long time ago, and you just couldn't see eye to eye for years. Yeah. And then you finally, you know, caught him somewhere. Something probably sparked it. Nobody really know what sparked that right. to just happen just like that. Right. And you just fought. But you haven't been really talking for some years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sometimes that situation. Shit, yeah. Well, I gotta ask you another question. I can't be down here and not ask this question. Uh, so a lot I of know people. What it is. <laughs> what? We have people. Mm-hmm. Be, my hey man, shout out to my team who writing doc all type of stuff up. But um, you had some guys get arrested down here on the Rico charge. All type shit. of stuff going on in the Atlanta area, man. and I'm just trying to understand. You know, like. Really, from the outside looking in, how's the chemistry down here now after all this stuff is happening like that? As far as you, you know, you are you good? Me, you know, that's I, you the way know, you yeah, 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 yeah. You know what's crazy, right? When all this shit happening with, with all these different, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. groups of people, and you know, um, I don't want to jail on nobody, not even my enemy. So I feel like it's bad, first and foremost, for it's definitely of, bad. Like, I, it, it's fucked up, right? But it makes the industry look a certain way. I don't know. It just look like to me, it's something going on down here. I don't know. It's something. You but know what I mean? I don't think it's just here because in Dallas, aren't they trying to sweep up some stuff in Dallas? They yeah, just did I, something I, today. I've been out of the way mm-hmm. a long time. I don't fuck with niggas. I, don't, I'm, I be by myself. I think they're trying to clean up where rappers are concerned because it seemed like, to me, it seemed like they're just attacking a lot of rappers. I don't even think that. I think what happened, me, for me personally, right? Because I rap, right? Mm-hmm. But I rap. That's what I do. I rap. I ain't doing nothing else. <laughs> I ain't I ain't involved in nothing else. You know what I'm saying? I don't hang around niggas on nothing else. I used to. Mm-hmm. Biggest mistake of my life. Well, one of them. But you that shit hint- Yes, sir. I mean, ma'am. <laughs> I'm sorry, you know that's it. Yeah, that's fine. yeah, but yeah, I learned from that shit. That sh- like I said earlier, a lot of doors that opened up for me were closed because of people I fucked it with. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So um, I knew early, get out of the way of this shit. Like I'm not a street nigga. I'm not trying to be in the street. I don't care what the niggas say. I know who I am. I know what I came from. I know what I conquered. I know what I overcame. You know what I'm saying? I'm out of the way. You gotta drive two hours to come see me. You my boy, but I ain't coming out there to hang with you when it ain't nothing but bullshit on my end. Mm-hmm. You did? Pull mm-hmm. up on me. Let's kick it. Mm-hmm. Let's hang. Yeah, we family. But I ain't going out there. Damn. But every time I turn on, like, you know, I don't watch the news, hardly. I'll jump on TMZ and see what's going on for mm-hmm. news-wise or mm-hmm. on social media. But it just feels like a lot of it, like, you know, when they did that to Bill Cosby, when they did it to R. Kelly, when you oh know, yeah, all of that and yeah, that even, shit him. Yeah, and that's why I said it's mystical. something going on. Um, yeah, whoa, mystical. You said they they, they, they mm. trying to get that boy life, life. man. They trying to give him life, life. And mm. and I interviewed. I got an interview coming out that with, with one of his cousins. The story that I hear behind it, I don't even know if we talked about we, it. We talk it off air. We talked about it off air, but yeah. it's more to it. People don't even realize what be going on. But you only know and what social like, media or what the news tell bro. you. Yeah, I just to seen that bro, shit today. Like, I'd be like, what the So you hell? didn't know he was arrested? No. Like, I'm wow. like, when I see that shit, it says I'm out a hair run, meth, mm-hmm. and some motion. I'm like, yeah, what? yeah, mm-hmm. they they it's all been a, over. It's been about a month now, is it? Yeah, about, about a month and a half. About a month and a half now. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Yeah, but um, yeah, it's something going on. So because even like I know what it is. 
I just had an idea. The what? light bulb just hit. <clears throat> it's cool because it's all black folks. It's cool when them other people kids round around listening and playing to it and all that, and then they mm -hmm. go back home to their other place. Mm -hmm. But it ain't cool when this is what we come from for real. This how we living for real, and we rap about it. Now they starting to say, "Oh, you influencing Timmy mm -hmm. to become." Gangster. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. hip hop. Hey, we yeah. gotta do something about this. Mm -hmm. I don't wanna raise a granddaughter that's twerking her ass every day. That's what's happening. Could be a That's what it gotta be. Yeah. Could be they a like, hold on, let's and, and, cut this shit. Because think about this, right? Let me tell you something about, um, because when you said the R. Kelly thing, mm -hmm. I, 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 I learned some shit about um, Elvis. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Yeah, exactly. But it was cool. It was mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, not, not. I ain't saying it's okay, right. but nobody made no records about it. Mm -hmm. And it's, I, after me doing more research, it's a lot of more people. Because if you think about it, back in the days, or even even now, it's like a lot of, if the parents give you consent, right. even if your child is underage for a lot of stuff, if the parents give you consent, even to marry somebody who's right. way older, right. that's consent that is given. Exactly. That's between a parent and that person. But that's so. what I'm saying, you got the people that sit here and I ain't saying that in no cold way or nothing. Right. I don't know who the people are. I'm just saying these people. You got people that sit here and can wake up today and be mad because uh, they daughter. And change their mind. Right, right. right, or whatever. However right. it can happen. Like, yep. You feel me? I got mm -hmm. a son, right? And I had a scare with my son. Like, How he, old is your son? He's nine. And you already got a scare? I got a scare. You understand You're me? You're too young for you to get scared. Man, that's what I thought. You feel me? But I mean, without getting into too much detail, right? right the girl was older than him. Mm. So she got embarrassed because mm. somebody recorded it. Mm. The mama tried to, oh, hell no. She don't, she this and that. She don't even do that. Man. Like, the principal in them saw the video like, well, we can't tell she's not, uh, you feel me? And it happened all school. So when you That's you good that they said that. Exactly. That's the part because if they I told my son, side, I said, Hey bro, you nine years old, stop getting your dick so man. Boy. Stop. Right. Let get this mother get, 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 get it go, man. Do your thing, bro. Stop. Right. <laughs> I said, right, that should let you know right now. Yeah, it's already good. It's up. Up. It she can, can go get. crazy. Stop. But we tell our kids all the time, and I know a lot of parents do this to all their kids. Don't do nothing that you don't want to come out on social media because number one, you don't know who gonna record it. Right. You take pictures, take videos, you send it to this person thinking that, oh, they gonna keep it to themselves. There's no such thing as they gonna keep it to themselves. Never. They could lose their phone, somebody can hack their phone. They right. can, so it can get out there. So do not put anything on social media that you do not. I'm not, so, I'm so. Don't record nothing. Don't, yeah, don't do it, anything exactly. that you don't want. I be telling my fiance that all the time, like, hey man, why you, why you, what's this, what the hell you putting this camera out for? You know what I mean? Chill, man. Like. Unless but, we finna make an OnlyFans. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but but I mean. it has good and bad. The bad part is that, right? The good part, because one thing he has always told me, even before we started any of this, mm -hmm. is the fact that record everything for the main fact that... See, that's that what she be on, man. For the main fact that, God forbid, you're gone. Yeah, I mean, They have those... Your kids, you wish... I guarantee you wish you had film footage of... Your grandparents. I do. Your daddy, mama, whoever, if you don't have that no, already. I don't. I do. A video I that you could hear their voice. I say that all the time. Got because we had, back That's in the days, we had That's my favorite thing pictures. to tell people, like. Yeah, he always would say that. Man, yeah, you, you, that. You, you right. I agree with that. Because I lost a lot of people early yeah, on. You can't even. Yeah. My mom, You can't hear everybody. the voices right, anymore. Right, if I could just hear right, or see their right. movement, I let my daughter see who never got to see. Right, yeah. My, my, my daughter by my wife never got to meet my mom. Mm. My mm -hmm. my son never got to meet my mom. My older kids did, but they can't remember. Right, yeah, right, right. She passed away with cancer when she was forty six, mm -hmm. and they was babies. My mm. son now that's twenty nine, mm -hmm. and my other uh, daughter 20. that's twenty eight. That's that's that they were babies when yeah. she died. You know, yeah. so it's like if I had a oh, video to show, you see pictures, but it's nothing it's like nothing like hearing like hearing no, a voice, a or a seeing fact. emotion, a movement. So your kids will get to see that. Just and to know, you, like this, what you come from. This why right. your this why your hair gold exactly. and that little strip right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Or yeah. your motion, mm -hmm. you smile just like her. Yeah, this you don't just like, like, like her. You move like, just like her. Yeah, voice. Yeah, you can see that in a video. Just don't make an explicit one. That's what I be saying. Yeah, yeah. 
no, 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 I come up, I come up, the camera light on. Hey, man, oh, damn, doing, man? she wants to really get freaky with you. I say, it's always, I <laughs> know, oh, babe, don't stop. It's just so good. Hey, man, hell no. <laughs> because you know what? At the end of the day, you can look at it like this. My, Hold on, let me tell I'm you. I'm thinking you be letting my daughter uh, uh, watch no, YouTube uh, on your phone. Uh, yeah, and what if she fuck up, up, up and post this shit on your you Instagram? Right. She, can, like, she can lock it, so she can't uh, get what? to it. Oh, what? You can not lie the camera. She can lock certain footage that she nobody can get to. Oh, for real? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, I need to get that. You need to figure that part no. out, nigga. Yeah, facts. Because you, because I, what she's doing, <laughs> Man, to me, I, I, I'm not talking for her, <laughs> but then when you're not around, she can still look at that and enjoy herself. No, that's fine. Yeah, do that. That's what she be trying to kick. Oh, nah, babe, you know, this is just when you gone. And, yeah, man, exactly. Get out of here, man. Yeah, well, yeah, man. You over there with your friend, like, look. Yeah. look. Nah, <laughs> damn. Don't put nah. me out there like that. You never know. Nah. You never listen, know. Listen, man. <laughs> man, nah, that's know. Funny, man. So, okay, I'm going to ask, since you brought that up. Here mm -hmm. we go. And I've never asked this question. Never. You started it. What's y'all favorite position? Favorite? What the hell? Mm -hmm. This ain't that. Uh, this ain't, what's what shoe is this? this? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell with the favorite? She like, she like, she like when hell? I'm on top and closing in her neck. You know what, what the I'm hell? Like? What the yeah. hell kind of show is this? You done started. This my one and all. I don't want to know what the hell the rich is doing talk, in there. <laughs> Nobody cares. What's your favorite position, nigga? Go to sleep, nigga. You got three kids. Get yeah. the hell out of here. You're They're not Ooh. old. They're young. How many kids you got? You got three? Did I hit that right? Five. Ooh, that nigga, that working. Over there, yeah, yeah, two adopted and the yeah, three yeah, mine. you did yeah, say yeah. that. Yeah, you got you, yeah, you yep. got a family, nigga. That's I'm still how many more I, until it stop. Like, so you, she wants more, and you want more. Oh well, I do, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know. I might have to call one of these daughters and give them a cup of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> So any of the kids in the music yet, man? Yeah, my son want to um, produce. Like he been making beats on the phone, or whatever. My daughter, uh, Kalea, she want to she wanna do everything, though. She want to sing, ballet. Is she good? Dance. Yeah. Like, I am i don't know who I need to talk to to get on Nickelodeon. Uh, 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 what is it? What, what, what they got going on? They got now? a lot of different stuff, man. Disney, I mean, yeah. Disney. Disney. But, get but, on Disney. YouTube. But let me tell you something. The way how anybody get discovered, yeah, you can put it out there, but... Start doing some skits, start doing some singing, have her post all of these, you know, her singing. We did. Guess what we got going on? We we vlogging now. Right. Adventures with the Lenners. You yeah. Know? Okay. yeah. Where can they find that? I ain't, I ain't, I, I just been recording. It? Yeah, I just been recording because. When you gonna put it out? I gotta, I, I told you I don't edit it. I don't, right. So I'm trying to, I gotta get my boy Rashad them to edit it for me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Get your kids to learn how to do the edit yeah. so they can do it themselves. And yeah, my son yourself. edited. Right. Yeah. Oh, so really? it's something yeah, that they can oh, okay. learn That's and know how to do. Yeah. yeah. Just put it on them. They got to get this done. Yeah. I'm you can with, learn yeah. anything off of YouTube. My daughter actually go to school. She in high school. She going for... um. Uh, whatever this Software. is right here, media, oh, media. media. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So yeah. she should do that then. Yeah, but she the thing is, she want to do clothes. She want to create clothes. She yeah. just in the class because that's what they gave her this semester. Like, pay her. You got to pay. Nothing yeah. happens by accident. You hear me? Yeah, you got to pay her to do it. Yeah, to do the, do the things. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's, that's how he do, he pays. You got her to pay him. Yeah. <laughs> got to pay these niggas, man. Yeah, they should know, like, uh, don't you want to pay your son? If you edit this, exactly. we can make me. No, no, no. They going to be like, no, nah, throw me yeah, something throw up me front. Something. Keep no. the money in the family. And yeah, watch what happens. Niggas be like, fair. damn, man, they came up with three of them programs right quick. Mm -hmm. That's the way it be, man. So, man, we love you, brother, man. Uh, I love y'all, too, do, forever. How, love. how can people get a hold of you? I always have to ask that, mm -hmm. right? Um, any social media? Well, not any, cause I I forgot when I made TikTok, somebody took my name. I was about to ask you how the TikTok going, cause you somebody were going took in. your name. Yeah. yeah, like somebody, you know how all my shit is the red mm -hmm. Somebody, you know, some a fan maybe. Oh, uh, took it before you actually got out. Yeah, there. because I wasn't on TikTok, like I didn't know nothing about it. How's it going? I, I don't know. I can't. You don't check it. <laughs> how many times you post in a day? <laughs> it's rare. I ain't Bro, you supposed to post 10, 20 times I'm a, a day. I'm going to be so honest with you. Am I right? Okay, hold on. You post on Instagram, on Instagram, right? Right, like, because I'm so kind of like... So anything you post on Instagram, just post it on TikTok. I've been... It's right, hard to so do it that nah, way. Nah, I'm going to tell you, this, this the secret. I don't know. Maybe I might be about to expose something about the social media. Okay, go ahead. 
But it used to be I could do the TikTok and click add the Instagram and go straight up. Right. Something going on. They ain't fucking with each other or something. <laughs> it don't work no more. Like, right. And then when I try to like download the video and post it, that shit don't work either. either. It's like it's a cold on this shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, nah, we ain't yeah. going over there. And I'm like, hey, man. Trump ain't shit. in office when no we more. Get, when we get done, no, I'll show you. Trump ain't in office no more. Things <laughs> change after they kicked in the White House. So, what? Hey, bro, ain't listen to me. No you more, said bro. that. Hey, listen. <laughs> The world, all right, all right. Let me say some. Let me get these folks some positive shit. <laughs> Shout out to everybody who survived through, uh, you know, this this uh, pandemic we've been going through. Yeah, because mm-hmm. it was hard. It was Very real hard. hard. I know it was hard for me. Yeah, what? No shows. What? No Man, it was hard, bro. It was tough. So I, I shout out to everybody who did whatever they had to do to get on. But the world has been. A fucking movie mm-hmm. ever since. Mm-hmm. When man. them folk hitting in that white house, hey, bro, man. you know how scared as a black man I was to ever go to the white house? Man, them, they went up there and acted damn to food. Go, like, shit, I don't know if I need to go to the how white house. How they go, though? Right. Them folk went in there like, hey, man, listen, I'm here. motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> they, they went, went over there. Like, yeah, and I'm like, ooh. I never get it because Trump walked out there with the Bible and held it up and walked back in like, what? What? I thought it was bro, a different world. But it was it was so I thought crazy because sure somebody was on. Then yeah, Kanye killed. was up there. Kanye yeah. was up there. Like his people. Go- <laughs> but it's not even that. But it's a lot of people, even like Trump supporters. People was going around Trump supporters everywhere and was seeming like they would get violent. And they yeah. call that a they if we walk around three deep and we having to slap somebody we a game yeah mm-hmm. yeah no it's it's a difference man you know it, it's very much different when you walk around there and uh, get up by that White House and you think you know when we went you know you can't even get up close mm-hmm. enough to even you can look over the gate over the gate man listen them folks in there standing on <laughs> shit knocking <laughs> on the shit people desk, opening <laughs> hey. the drawers up looking in the they still like, investigating that because I think people still getting arrested from from that that's crazy. At the same time, the PPP crazy, loans man. was coming out. I'm Everything was you, popping. I'm talking about what the world. I done seen it. That's why I said I survived because nigga features. Oh y'all nigga around right here getting money. Oh yeah, hey. it was some niggas. Did you bring that PP loan? It was like niggas got a million dollars. Some niggas man, just got I a million ticket. Yo, I seen niggas got like hundreds of millions. Off My that partner shit. told me like nigga, I just got ninety thousand. Nigga, I yo, said really. Yo. Like I don't even got now, a job. I, I salute. I salute everybody again. <laughs> For surviving. Mm-hmm. But your ass better have been the right <laughs> shit, though. Don't fuck go goddamn what they call you. They think that, oh, I got away with it because it's been a year or two. Man, uh-huh. please. Mm-hmm. Brr, mm-hmm. Hey, no, no. This is uh What is that? Yeah. Where is that? Where is that? That's how it shake down. Oh, I'm no, they already done spend that off. It don't matter. They I gonna guarantee. Have to, oh, they got a place for them. Oh, they show the fuck, dude. <laughs> Say, man, how is... I, well, you and Shout, PJF Shout, we gonna, we, mm-hmm. gonna, we gonna ever get... We gonna get some music again, like to something else. Yeah, or, man. When? I, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I had an album. Speci- I mean, I had a song for this album, album specifically for, for him. him. And then I don't know. We just didn't do it. Too busy. <sighs> busy. That boy works. So oh, I know. Work. He always. He every. He all over the he place. He just dropped bro. some stuff. Last time I was Recently. over there, that nigga rap man. He just in the kitchen with it. I loved it. I, yeah, I, I like, this hard. nigga ain't playing with I'm these niggas. I'm talking about he ain't playing. He doing the video. He starting to bend it like bro going hard. Like, he work. He somebody that I can respect, um, business wise. Like. From just waking up one day to saying I want to do this and doing all that shit, managing himself, setting up his own shows, mm-hmm. doing his own marketing shit, rapping because it takes a lot to rap. Man, what to, right. to make a song that you want to let people hear? Yeah. It takes a lot. When he when he came on the show the first time when he was talking about you, he's talking about he said, man, he got. What he say? He say you had gotten shot and he didn't even know it. I'm like, what kind of nigga? This nigga done got shot and he didn't know it for nah, months. Nah, I, my it, shit. Was it something like that? He was talking mm-hmm. about. He was talking I'm about like, uh, my shit shot? getting shot up. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So you didn't get shot? Nah, hell no. Nah. I'm like, the nigga got shot and he <laughs> nah, didn't know the nigga got nah, shot. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> So Let's something go. happened, but, you, but it was something wow. happened, yeah. and and you didn't know he didn't yeah, know. Yeah, it was a situation. My shit had got shot up more than once, and. The first time he was standing right there with me. Okay, but he didn't like he was he was he was like yeah that's for somebody else man that shit ain't for us. And I'm like nigga my time going flat nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Damn. Damn. Like 
And I and I and honestly, I thought, yeah, you're right, because I don't bother nobody. Yeah. Like I'm a good like I, and when I say good nigga, I don't mean bitch. Like yeah. I'm a good nigga, I'm a loyal nigga, I'm a respectful nigga, I'm a man. I I, I respect everybody, they sex, they size, how they living. Like I respect it. So mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm like, yeah, that shit ain't for me. You right. We go to the next club. I'm telling this shit happened in one night. Oh no, I didn't know that. This shit happened in one night. So it's, uh, it's probably the same people. I know, I know, yeah. Mm -hmm. But but what I'm saying is, he from that's all he can say. Like from that, he was like, yeah, damn, I ain't know. But what he didn't know my shit got when we left that second club, my shit got oh, shot, okay. up, shot, shot up, shot up, shot up. Yeah, he part. didn't know that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I and ultimately I stopped fucking with niggas. Like I was like, damn. You didn't know what was going yeah, on. I got a hundred niggas around me, and don't nobody know what happened. No. Nobody. Yeah. yeah. And as I'm leaving, yeah, I, you see, I see all y'all niggas still chilling, which I don't blame nobody. I'm not mad at nobody for it. Yeah. I just knew that night. No. Nah. I yeah. always feel like you nah, can't have yeah. too many people around you because you can't keep your eye on so many people to really know what their motives are. Right. That you shit was crazy. I mean? Like a nigga, I, I thought Rocks was in, like, you know how you, I'm in a track hall. So when I'm, I hit it, I'm thinking Rocks kicking up in the car. That's what it's, it's like. Gun, so it's you didn't, you, did, you didn't like duck down. No, nah, he think it's, I'm just right. He think he rocking it. Yeah, and then I'm like, and not one hit you. Not hell no. God. Close, bro. Close so many times. Like all. Did like, you thank God? Like did I? <laughs> Thanking God every day, still to still this day. Still to this wow. day. Like I, I would never forget what it was like for me to go home and look at that and car have like to tell that. my daughter like, bro. Dad I almost didn't come home tonight and I want y'all to know something. Daddy gonna come home every night. Yeah, every like night. I ain't Yeah, I'm not with you. I would have been scared to tell my kids because I, for the main fact that every reason, time when I leave, they gonna be so worried. Only reason I did, cause my daughters is like really like I'm I talk to them. Tell you them what's me? going on. Yeah, and I want them to know. Don't think this shit cool. You hang around these little niggas and these boys and mm -hmm. shit and they thinking everything ain't funny. You getting shot at ain't funny. Mm -hmm. You almost dying ain't funny, my nigga. So mm -hmm. I talked to my kid like, hey, dad almost ain't come home now. How did, man. How did they handle that, though? Well, what? When you told them that? They just listen, probably. Yeah, they just listen. No lie, they just listen. Mm -hmm. like, they like, all right, you, dad. How did you and Shaw patch it back up? How did y'all get past that? Because I think he told us. But nah, I, I wasn't ever mad at Shaw, though. No, I'm saying, but in his heart, he felt like he let you because down. Because you didn't. That's oh, what it see, was. I never knew that. No, nah, he told I mean? us, didn't he? He told us yeah, something. I ain't know. He I told know. us that. Yeah, Because he know. said you didn't talk to him. He tried to call or something like but that. But I ain't he, talking to nobody. But he didn't know that. But imagine yeah. that person is called who he supposed to be like a friend. He felt like he let you down. I'm yeah. telling that's my, you. That's my brother, though. So I dig what he's saying. But it 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 was everybody. Because like, he wouldn't know that, though. Nobody. But like, he wouldn't know that. But that's the thing. Like It was like this, right? He didn't go to the hood and say, hey, y'all talk to Dredd. And they say, yeah. Like I ain't talking to nobody. So if he feel like that, everybody feel like that. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So when I did feel like talking again, I picked up the phone for who I fought with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Chain my number and everything. Like, yeah. oh, cool. I don't even want to. Like, it, it, it put me in a mental state. Like, I just don't even want to be around nobody. Like, just because. Yeah. Just because, bro. Like, you don't nobody know who did it. Nobody you don't said know. Nothing. Yeah. Everybody making up different. I heard a million different stories, right? Who done it? Who done it? Why? Oh, it wasn't for you. Oh, it ain't that. It ain't this. You know what? It don't even matter. Yeah. It don't even matter. It happened. Y'all don't know what happened exactly. Or at least y'all want to say this happened. But now me, me having my other little shit going on, I find out exactly what happened, right? Mm-hmm. Now I'm just like, yeah, um, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. I've been. I don't yeah. care who don't like it. I don't care who don't want to. You know what I mean? I'm good. Mm -hmm. God has I, a purpose. Yeah, I ain't mad. I ain't hating. I ain't hunting. I ain't looking. I don't care for you. You don't exist to me. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know what I mean? I've been there. Like yeah, yeah. Once your mind go there, I shut you down. It's over. I'm talking about man, nigga. You you ever see the movie when a nigga walking and stuff blowing up behind him? Yeah, <laughs> that's how. <laughs> That's how you feel when you stand up and like, yeah. <laughs> silly. Yeah. That's what niggas is going on. Yeah, fact. Nigga ain't got time for that, man. Yeah, I, I did and, what and, I had to do with that. I'm done with yeah, that. Yeah, I'm gone. Yeah, I know how that. I know 
he loved me. That's you it. You know what I'm saying? That's it, man. And we love you, bro. Yeah, we sure, we, sure. we appreciate you, man. Like I said, Thank I can't you. stress it enough. I'm getting you to Dallas, nigga. I try to say, I, what didn't I tell you? Yeah, I said, I'm, I'm going to fly this to nigga to Dallas and fly him back in one day. Yeah, yeah didn't I tell you Rocket, one of my members of Rocket told me that. He was like, yeah, they were trying to take you to Dallas. Man, I wanted you to be in Dallas, man. When was the last time you been to Dallas? Man, I ain't been to Dallas. I really minute. just want you to come for my show. I don't give a damn no, about I'm none of that stuff. Yeah. When was the last time? Yeah. I ain't been there in a minute. I ain't really, like, working on the album, I'm going to be a hunter. I only been taking shows if I, like, kind of need it. Yeah. Like, to, like, to balance out some other shit. Mm -hmm. Like, you get what I'm saying? So, I just been living off what I already I know did. what I'm going to do. So, I just been like, yeah, let me focus on the album. Let me finish the album. Once I finish, we can start back taking dates. Mm -hmm. So, for example, I got a show on Arkansas Saturday. I'm only doing that to balance out other shit. Because right. I'm the label. Like, it's me mm -hmm. and my team. Like, I'm, Yeah, I know what it is. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, when them videos come through, them bitches 10,000, I'm You got to drop that. That's right. You feel me? When, when we need goddamn uh, uh, ads and apps and shit and all of that, I'm paying for that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I was saying earlier just to touch that, bro. If you become independent, you better have you your better shit have to together. together. Fact. I thought about what you were saying because I was like, man, you know what, man? You would have to have, like, you got some solid managers and some people who really understand the dynamics of how to move in an independent situation. Mm -hmm. You can be powerful as hell. You can. But you got to have the right people on your team. That's all you it is. You got to have the right, the right people. people. If you Shout got out to Venice, too. That's my own um, distribution. They doing their shit. Dope, dope. Yeah. And you got to have somebody that understand what, is it Venice? Yeah, Venice. You yeah. got to have somebody that understand Ven Venice mm -hmm. on your team. Like, dealing with that. Mm -hmm. You know, because you can't be everybody and everything yeah. to everybody when you're trying to deal with artistry. Fair. It's just so many di different moving parts to what you're trying to accomplish, right? Yeah. So, man, that's the and good you thing. you can't do that shit, bro. Like I said, <laughs> rapping alone is hard as hell, bro. Well, just remember, don't sign no contracts with no managers. Yeah, just fair. run around this whole renegade. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah. I, nah. <laughs> Listen. I was in a fucked up contract before. I know. I, what fucked me up the most is when they say some shit like, if you don't sign it, uh, if you don't send in the um, what is it the 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 the, rec the re I guess request to not be in, in agreement yeah. anymore yeah. within sixty days it, it recycles back over. yeah it recycles <laughs> two plus years times three I'm like boy hell no <laughs> I'm signing now like, I'm out <laughs> <you know? laughs> Yeah. Man, so yeah, I, I done thought about I'm gonna get him to Dallas, man. But I'm gonna, I, I gotta bring his fiance too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. for sure. I'm gonna man. bring both of them and then we'll, we'll yeah. rock yeah, out. She with do, okay. Yeah, man. We'll do I'm, like I'm, that. Trying to, I'm trying okay. to blow her shit up. Too. Oh, I got something, I, yeah. I got something for you though. What I, does she do? Like, she do hell, man, and she's amazing. Like her page is Glitter House Boutique. Dope. Well, well, her shit called Glitter House Boutique, but okay. her page is Glitter House with the two S's. So it's okay. like, uh, yeah. So she doing hell wigs, um, coloring. Now she she like master natural, like you know what mm -hmm, I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But she doing everything, man. Going Good. crazy. Yeah, that's a blessing, man. And and basically, you know, how long she been at it? Man, she did some shit, and I'm gonna tell you why I feel good with her doing it. Did some shit she probably dreamed about as a little girl, and it took a real nigga to come in her life and tell her, "Let's get it, let's get it, you feel me? do it." Real shit. Let's do it. I ain't gonna stop. Let's That's go. real. Yeah. No, and, and you back, and then she back, and you back. It up. Yeah, it's yeah. going That's down good. once again. That. Yeah, fact. Man, thank you so much for coming on the show, Already. man. We're gonna end this thing like this, man. Mm -hmm. You got anything else for the real the show? No, did we miss anything? Anything we no, cause we cut we let him talk. Oh right? yeah, all right. I cut we his did. ass off. Thing. Yeah. One thing, I cut his thing. ass off. All right. So <laughs> the last man, the the new monster, the okay. new monster. What's different with me? Yeah, it's just me. Okay. I ain't got a hundred niggas running around me with fucked up ass energies and vibes and attitudes. Yeah. I don't have to watch over my shoulders every fucking day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy. I'm the most happiest I've ever been in my entire life. That's good. You feel me? Most peaceful I've ever been in my entire life. Most mentally stable I've ever been in my entire life. I have some slips, but rarely. Like, yeah, man, they've been breaking. I'm so happy. They got so the happy. family. I know what no, it is. I'm thinking family no, every time he talk. Exactly. <laughs> Bruh, I go to video shoots. I get out of the sprinter. It's me, my kids, See? my fiance. That's it. That's it. You feel me? That's beautiful. I ain't. I ain't I, when I'm did me. it click? When did it click man. to you that that's what you needed? Because the last time when we did an interview, I'm telling you, you were in my prayers. Because when you started talking about your mental state and, the, you know, the days that you have and yeah. all of that, mm. 
I was worried about Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. For real. They helped too. Thank you. I wasn't so worried about it when because. When did it click? I don't know, man. I just, I, like I say, I just was praying. I've been praying just for peace. Mm. The reason I wasn't worried about it because we talked about his kids last time. When he said that tear dropped, mm. and when you think about going to the school, and when he's trying, to, he's telling you that I remember you could, that part. he's fighting through at that point for me. I already know yeah, that he was fighting it, but I know God he ain't gonna let him through, through yet. Yeah, I time. ain't gone through yet. Right. Now, now I'm through. Like I'm good, even That's with my good. kids. Like <clears throat> um, I wish all of them would stay with me, but my other daughter back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't tripping. Yeah. She talk more. We talk more. Yeah, That's good. you know what I'm saying? That's it. And it's fun. Like it's it's it's, it's really a good feeling. Like fun. Man. Like to be able to watch my beautiful children grow up. I'm happy man. Peep they characters, wristics, and they 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 the, the things they like to do. Like they becoming little people. Like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's like I'm I'm peeping them. One's a dancer, electrifying. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Then my other daughter, cool, laid back. Let me. You know, I want to do clothes. I'm, I keep the house clean. I'm gonna be on my thing. I'm gonna move this around. Dope. My baby, my baby, baby one. She growing up Loving energetic, it. funny. Got a fucking whole different mm -hmm. vibe, right? right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She walk through the door. <clears throat> this the best feeling. No matter what I go through, I can be mad every damn day I walk in the house. She see me, hey daddy, hey daddy, 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 any parent, you look at your children and they're always kids to you. Mm -hmm. No matter how old they get, they're still your little babies. Mm -hmm. And you turn around, you're like, they Dang. grown. Yeah. Or or the one that at home, she driving and every day, you know, you're worried when mm -hmm. they get up and drive. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I see yeah. one, anything yeah, wrong, yeah, I'm yeah. out there. You know what I, I mean? Can't, I'm yeah. stressed, nigga. Oh, fair. I know that part. Yeah, but as far as I'm going to college or whatever, I'm going to say this, <clears throat> but it's not for y'all, right? <laughs> this is me, my life, my thoughts, my kids. Uh -huh. I ain't pushing that college shit on them. Mm -hmm. If that's what they want to do, though, do that. I'm more into teaching you how to... Survive. Nah, nah be a boss. You don't mm -hmm. need school to open a damn business. Right. Uh, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I mean, now, it's if you want to, you know, become a doctor or what, yeah, yeah, a lawyer or something like that, then handle your business. But mm -hmm. I'm pushing my kids on what they want to do because they got somebody I never had, which is me. That's mm -hmm. real. I'm going to open it up for you. What you want to do? You want to be a rapper? All right, bet. Hey, hey, Rodway, you ain't do a song with me, but you better do a song with my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? For real huh? talk. Hey, man, my daughter got damn, look here, uh, ABC News. My daughter, need you need to put her shit up on, the, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I ain't had it. I ain't had you nobody had to open it. up the door for me. Real talk. I ain't pushing that college shit on them. No, I, I do don't what you want. That. I don't give a fuck what it is. I don't blame you. I'm, don't and blame now you. niggas, are getting, I'm learning that niggas getting paid millions of dollars playing video games. What? Yeah. yeah. Come mm -hmm. on, DJ. Play. I am not gonna interrupt you. Do your thing, <laughs> son. <laughs> you feel me? Like, yeah. But that's that's that different monster. I'm happy. That's good. Yeah. I had another question, but I forgot it. It came out of my head. That's I all love, it. man. Like I said, this is family now. I just yeah. told you, coming to Dallas, mm -hmm. you think I'm playing? No cap, nigga. No we kids. Get this nigga all the way to Dallas, him and his wife, to mm -hmm. be around this camp. When's the date, anyway? Oh, hell. She keeps talking about summertime. Like, I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't know. Like, you nervous? You're going to do some yeah. big, small? I don't. I, I, I think that. The wedding is supposed to be however the wife wants. That's right. That's what. That's exactly the right. <laughs> All right. So I don't. Um, whatever she whatever want, you're doing, yeah. let's go. Yeah. Whatever, whatever she I'm, wants. I'm on go mode. I told you we could do it. Yeah. Let's I'm do done it. Done with it. Yeah. I'm done with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you, you happy? I hope these birthdays and shit get a little smaller now. But that's <laughs> it. Wedding <laughs> shit. You know what I, mean? like, where, I gotta ask you this before you get out. What? Where's uh, uh? First of all, is it anybody out here that you hear that you hear doing the music? Mm -hmm. uh, I think I seen was it Moo, Moo or who's this this guy you did a song with? Money Moo Money Moo uh -huh. I mean like like who who's and I just mentioned him because I knew y'all did a song together mm -hmm. but 
who down here is did you hear in a sound from that you like that? That's a nice sound that you you know you hadn't heard. Honcho. Honcho. Yeah. Honcho, I'm gonna look him up. Yeah, Honcho. I'm loving how he's sounding right now. He definitely got like I'm noticing, like I'm seeing all the like street nigga kids, college nigga. I mean, they fucking with it because he doing the same. He rapping that pain but putting that sauce on. Oh, Where is he from? Man. What part of town? I think he's from the east side. East side, yeah, going in, going crazy, crazy. I'm, I'm fucking with it. Hell yeah, like I ain't even capping. Like he going crazy. Like and everybody in the streets feeling it. Honcho. Yeah, I'm oh. just speaking off from I don't you feeling. Feel yeah, me. Yeah, listen you, to the you, music. You, yeah. you, you know music and yeah. you really do this. Yeah, if I if I when I put my hand in being the CEO, you'll see what I know. When is that gonna happen? See, it's you can't drop that out there like that. You can't drop said, that out said, there like I, that. I, I, I be having to put in the work to build it up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I gotta build it up from the ground, so it ain't like I'm going in business with a company that's gonna let me be as equal as them. So I have to build my shit up and become the company, and then I'm gonna do that. Would you sign a guy like you sign Huncho? Yes, in a heartbeat. Yes. You know he the one. I know it is. I believe. Yes. What's his got name on social media? H U N. I spelled it wrong. H U N. I put yeah. H O N. Yeah. H U N C H O. Look him up. Huncho. Uh, shout out to Huncho, man. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Shout out to everybody though. The Atlanta got a lot of a lot. Of, it's a lot of niggas coming out. It's right a now. lot of them coming right now. Yeah, fat, but I'm just saying, you know, he the one that you've been seeing that you've been hearing that sound, that pain yeah. sound from. Yes, already. I'm trying to get in there with him. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, you get Huncho, okay? And I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say uh, I got a nigga name. Uh, what's okay. His, what's his name? Uh, you talking bump? Um, Bumpy Jones. Oh yeah, just put it together. I'm on, I'm on, yeah. yeah, I want to. I, I bring Huncho. You, I mean, you bring Huncho. I bring Bumpy Johnson. Nigga. Okay. You know what I'm uh, talking about? And then pain. We gonna see. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm, uh, we gonna see. Oh yeah. Nigga, let me I'm gonna hear, put. Let me hear, I, yeah. I, I, next time. Yeah. I want that nigga to. Uh, I wish I could get that nigga. I need to get something for that nigga. I yeah. need to find a link with that dude, man. I love the link. Oh yeah, with him. for sure. Yeah. The yeah, reason being sure. because uh, I got Bumpy coming uh, in a couple of weeks back on the show, mm -hmm. nigga. Hey, that you say he from Dallas, right? Same. Don't sing, man. I'm gonna look him up. His, yeah, his page, Bumpy Johnson. His yeah. Instagram. The nigga gonna sing. Yeah, the nigga gonna sing. Sing, sing. What? And he raps who? What? Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> These niggas shitting on me. <laughs> you the, hey, you okay. the dog. You father, nigga, what are you stuff. talking about? Huh? Nigga, you the dog. You yeah, that dog. You won, nigga. That, but nah, I'm finna go in there and get it together. Like. <laughs> Huh? Hey, man, let me. I don't know why this just came to my mind, right? I do not know why. What's that? Maybe because we talking about Dallas or some shit, but. Deion Sanders, man. What about him? You see how Coach Prime? Like I, I'm, I'm Coach you like Prime. It. Yeah, I'm me. I'm me. You like that? You know what I'm saying? Let me get. Let me show you how to like orchestrate this shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. he been That's like that. Feeling. That yeah. nigga been like that, yeah, bro. For real. From from Atlanta to Dallas, yeah. man. That nigga been like this all his whole that's life, what I'm saying, bro. You know, yo, yeah, he got, he. Yeah, that's what I'm finna have to, I'm gonna have to pull the coach prime. Bro, I wanna mm -hmm. see you. You know, your next level is to be that CEO, that one that builds the way to bring that wave to where you can help people to yeah. come through and not get treated the way you felt like you mm -hmm. got treated right. in some of those right. situations. That's right. your job. I feel like that is my purpose. Like, that's Am what I, right? I was put here for. I, I swear, because mm -hmm. I do that. Even without music, like in my life in general, yeah. like on my everyday speaking with people, speaking with strangers. Um, that's it right there. Yeah, that's it. That it, it, that's your next level because that's the way you have to usher these new guys in, and they get to get sheltered a little bit, mm -hmm. but they still gonna go through their trials. Yeah, you still gonna have your personal. But shit. at least you know, hey, yeah. don't do that. We can't do that because I, I I stapled this not to happen that way. Exactly. But now you gonna bump over here, yeah. but you won't bump like this. You ain't gonna bump in this lane. <laughs> this lane, I got y'all shooting up out them over. I don't know what to do. <laughs> man, right here. yeah, thank nah, you but so that's much, true. man. Yeah, for sure. God bless you, man. Peace and love. We love you, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. Yeah. And we out.